of divine order here. I'm telling you, these cards are telling a beautiful, beautiful story. It's not going to be beautiful for everybody. It's not beautiful with anybody. What? It's not beautiful for anybody <laughs> who is working with darkness. Even if they're working with darkness for the purpose of being the contrast. So I've talked about that before. Why does the darkness exist? It's so we can perceive the light. So divine order is coming in and making huge corrections, cleaning things up. But this means it's going to, that energy is going to be working into your life as well. So again, us humans, we judge how our, how we're doing by how our surface level life is going. And that is not, that's not the whole story. It's not even a big part of the story. Those are just little things to strengthen your soul, to get you to learn, to get you to let go of patterns, to do the generational healing. That's such a big part of this. Such a big part. So if there has been a pattern in your family of whatever, pick something, it's getting healed now by crumbling away, which is going to make a lot of people uncomfortable. That's where we have the big divide. Um, thing, the splitting, the splitting energy that I've been talking about quite a bit, but everything's happening in divine order. So if you, God forbid, but if you lose a job, it's a blessing, honey. It is a blessing. If you didn't get the job you interviewed for, it was a blessing. If, you know, also what could happen is something from the past, because I, I feel like this is like unfinished business for a lot of people. That's why I keep saying that in these videos. Just a lot of unfinished business coming back around. Now, you'll know what this is because maybe I'm not talking about like, hey, some jerk ghosted you and now you're wishing that they would come back around. I'm talking more like that was the one that got away and they're coming back around. Now, if you're married or you're in a committed relationship, don't sit there and rub your hands together going, ooh, I finally have a chance at my true love partner. You gotta be careful with that, okay? Like, I know there are a lot of people that will be out there enabling that behavior and saying it's fine uh, for views. I'm not that person. It's an abusive energy. You have to be careful with this it's too much to get into here, but no, you don't have a right to cheat. No, you don't have a right to betray someone. No, you don't have the right to hurt someone. Never, ever, ever. Now, I know there are certain circumstances out there where it's like, well, we're separated. Divorce takes forever. I want to get on with my life. You know, I understand that, that we're not, I'm talking about people who are actually kind of dark and they're entitled and they think they can do whatever they want to other people. You're about to find out really fast that that is not the case. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.